Hello, my name is Ryan Maybe, and I'm an Applications Engineer with DP Technology. This tips and tricks video will give an overview to show how the tool editor add-in works. This add-in functions to make the process of editing tools and their parameters easy and efficient. I will first be showing you how to make sure that the tool editor add-in is loaded incorrectly. Go to Tools, go to Add-in, scroll down and select the tool editor add-in. Make sure that the load behavior is set to loaded slash unloaded and load on startup. There are two ways to get into this add-in. The first is through machining, common machining, tool editor add-in. The second way is through the smart toolbar. You can go to common machining and go to the tool editor add-in icon up here. The first tab is the single tool editor tab. It is a simple interface that allows for quick changes of the most common parameters of the tool. And we can see some of these options here on the right. By clicking on either of the column headers, we can get an order of tools that is either ascending or descending order. The tool numbers tab allows for the users to set all the tool numbers for any tool used, as well as adjust any offset numbers. Depending on the specific post processor used, these values may or may not affect the NC code output. Here at the bottom, we can choose to show multiple offsets, show offset register in the operations, or show the offset register in insert technology if you have this programmed into your file. When it says multiple offsets, Unless we want to make them the same for every operation in the, in the tool, we will leave those alone. Moving on to the common properties tab. This allows us to quickly configure the common properties for each tool. Here are some of the common properties that we can see. We're going to change for sake of demonstration the simulation color. Let's click on the simulation color for the chamfer and select green. I will then press OK and hit apply we can now see that the simulation color has changed. Moving on to the multiple tool editor add-in, this is one of the most critical tabs of the add-in. It allows for multiple tools to be selected and a list of common parameters will be shown in the output here to the right and be edited together. As it appears with other tabs, we also have the ability to show or not show unused tools. For this demonstration, we will just be using the tools in our file. To select all the tools manually, select the top tool, highlight it, hold shift, select the bottom tool to highlight it, and select the checkbox. We will then select some common parameters to adjust in the right hand side. I will select coolant, I will scroll down, I will select simulation color and spindle direction. I will then hit edit common parameters and a dialog box of our three parameters will show up. I'm going to select coolant to be on through spindle I'm going to select our simulation color for all of our tools to be green, and I'm going to select our spindle direction to be clockwise. I will then hit OK. Moving on to the speeds and feeds tab, this allows us, for us to easily set the speeds and feeds for specific operations, or to set the speeds and speeds for all the tools operations at once. As you can see here, we can switch easily from either the tools to operations. This add-in gives us the unique ability to define all operations that a tool uses in the tool window. So let us do this for the chamfer mill. I'm going to set some speeds and feeds here real quickly. I can then hit apply and these will have changed for all operations that use this chamfer tool. The custom properties window adds an internal property to the tool that can be used within the API or post processor. Now let us turn on the simulation where we can see some of the changes that we have made. Let's first go to simulation parameters, which is this icon right here. The status displaying the simulation parameters allows us to set different variables that we wish to see in our properties window. Depending on what you chose to change in your tool editor add-in, you can select some of these parameters yourself. We together set the coolant status and the spindle direction in our add-in. So I'm gonna select those and press OK. I'm then gonna press play in our simulation. When we look to the properties box, we can see that the spindle direction is set to clockwise and that our coolant status is set to on through spindle. And our cuts color is set to green. That is today's Esprit's tips and tricks video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our website at espritcam.com to subscribe to our newsletter for more cool videos. Stay tuned for other Esprit tips and tricks.